This is Twit. Jason and I kind of brought somewhat similar apps to the arena today. Unplanned. Not yeah. not totally similar. So his is more about um, uh, knowing the direction of the sun and the moon. This one I found because um, in my bedroom, I have bay windows that overlook uh, kind of a field. And my husband and I sometimes... Well, it's really a thing he likes to do. He got me onto it, which is to stargaze when the night sky is clear. And in the summer, we've been blessed with a clear night sky. So um, I have to type the app in because I... You're using your minimal because launcher. I'm using my minimal launcher. Um, so the app that I brought in is called Night Shift. Now, this is not an app that turns your screen yellow. Uh, this is actually an app to help you stargaze. Um, let me bring down the brightness on that. There we go. There you go. There we go. Um, so this is an app to help you stargaze. Uh, it is best used with a telescope, but I don't have a telescope. So this is just, uh, this is, this app also helps folks who want to just look out the window <laughs> or look up to see what they can see that night. So Tonight's viewing is going to be fair conditions. Uh, it's been pretty cloudy to d this morning, so I imagine um, that tonight the clouds will roll back in, making it kind of hard to look up. Um, the best time to look out tonight will be, be so this is, of course, location-based, so this is based right now on um, our Petaluma location. So the best time to look up would be between 10 and 10.53 p.m. is going to be the best time to try and do any sort of stargazing. Uh, and, of course, there's a note. Weather forecasts are uncertain, so they're likely to change it. Just a, just a caveat. Um, I'll talk to you later. Um <laughs> There's also a little card that tells you uh, when to expect the sun. So the sun will, it rose today at 629. It will set at 757. The day's length, uh, we had a 13 hour and 28 minute day. Uh, it will tell you the darkness. So the, the darkest time that you can expect tonight here would be between 9.33 and 10.53, hence the stargazing that it suggested. Um, so actually, what I learned from this app is that darkness is not an all-night thing. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of things I don't really know about the sky, and I like apps that sort of help me learn uh, some gaps of information there. So... And of course, when we'll be able to see the moon. So we can actually see the moon. We were able to see it since 11 um, this morning. Or excuse me, it. we were able to see it before 11. It it went down to wherever the moon goes. <laughs> is, I'm just, it goes into the ground. Obviously, I never took That's... an astronomy class. So um, The moon, the moon <laughs> sets into the dirt. Yes, and then it comes up the out of the other side of the earth through the dirt. <laughs> yes, That's what it does. Exactly. <laughs> um, and so we can expect it to rise back up at 10.53. And that's when that darkness is going to end um, because the moon will come up and it will it will light up the sky. At a glance, we'll be able to see four planets tonight. Uh, we'll be able to see Jupiter in excellent condition, uh, visible from 8.30 p.m. We'll be able to see Saturn. I imagine this is a lot easier to see with a telescope. Now, we have done what we've called, quote unquote, nerd camping, which is when you go camp and your friend with the nice expensive telescope lets everybody look through it and see things. So if you really want to look at some planets, I would suggest getting a telescope. Um, although from my, from my experience, Venus and Mars can be seen with the eye, with the naked eye. So, but unfortunately it looks like we're not going to be seeing those tonight. Uh, tonight we'll be able to see two meteor showers, the Perseids, ah, yeah. which is active until the 24th of August, and uh, the K Cygnids. I, I don't know a lot of these, but I am excited to have this information at my fingertips. Uh, and then you also get phases of the moon, which is super helpful. Uh, it'll tell you uh, the different phases of the moon. Oh, look, our observing conditions have gotten a little bit better here in Petaluma. Uh, you have some information on the clouds, the humidity. Over here, we have a pullout menu. <laughs> in the pullout menu, uh, this just lets you go deeper into, okay, so we want to just specifically see when the moon is coming out. Here you can see a little graph. Um, there's a little information bubble to kind of let you know. Um, maths. <laughs> so 
This is not something I use. I just like to use the visual component that just says green or red. Green meaning, yes or meaning no. look up or red means don't bother. Um, that's what I like to use for that. Uh, this will, yeah, This the nice thing about this is it'll tell you if you will be able to see it. With, obviously, the moon is the thing that you can see. So it'll also tell you uh, binoculars uh, and then different opticals. So if you have a nice. 80 millimeter um, telescope or if you have a 20 millimeter or if you're super fancy and you have the 300 millimeter, dang, uh, that'll let you know. And also lets you know the rest of the week's forecast in case you're trying to have people over or something or maybe you want to plan a romantic night of sky of sky gazing. You can do it this way. Um, let's, let me just try other planets just really quickly. So I was saying Mars. So let's look at Mars. Uh, no observation opportunities tonight. Wah, wah, wah. That's a bummer. Um, but apparently we'll, but apparently the naked, so this tells you kind of overall, like when you'll be able to see it. So Mars, usually you can see it with the naked eye. Um, what's another planet? Saturn. Just very quickly. Tonight we'll be able to see it. Also, apparently very easy to see with the naked eye. Um, I I just like that this app gives me some information that I don't I don't otherwise know how to get. Um I have used it staring out the window and I found it to be accurate in that sense. Um there's also observation locations. So if you are traveling, um places if you're uh in nevada in baker nevada it'll uh let you know about the observations there so if you're going camping you can find out what the observations will be like when you're there now you're in speaking my language yeah there's an astron uh, astronomical clock um which is how i check in on utc time <laughs> Yeah, that works. That works. <laughs> that works. Yeah. So, because my husband and I were talking about how, anyway, there's some settings <laughs> which lets you use weather data, uh, how often it renews. So this renews um, every three hours after one day. Uh, you can enable notifications, which I don't have. Uh, the visibility for me is most important with the naked eye because that's how I look at things. Um, so it's just, you know, a helpful app if you would like to do some easy stargazing uh, from your window. And I found it to be useful. And as a result, it's an app that stays on my phone. So, and we, as Jason mentioned, we, we have a culture here of stargazing. So, because you can go out and find actual darkness. Yes. And be able to look up. And sometimes it's not easy to find the you know, absolute Sometimes darkness, you have to drive like two hours to find it. You get it. there. But you can get there it. and then you realize that you are really not alone in this world and uh, ah, you start to have an existential crisis. It's That's amazing. what happens to me <laughs> when I go camping. Uh, so night shift, stargazing and astronomy. The icon that is used on the phone is actually different than this icon uh, that is shown here in the Play Store. So, oh, okay. All right. Me. Good to know. Me. Night shift. Night shift. 